Katie with the Homespun Hydrangea channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back. We're going to be doing another thrift store haul video today. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I'm asking that you please go down and click that subscribe button. To those of you that have subscribed so far, I appreciate you guys so much. So we're going to jump right in. I've got a bunch of great stuff to show you guys on a recent thrifting trip in Michigan. Um, lots of fun stuff. There's even some clothing mixed in there, which I know is unusual for me. So lots to show you. So we're going to go to the video clip. You guys can see what I saw, see if anything catches your eye. Then I will come back here and I will show you what I found, tell you what I paid for it, and tell you what I'm going to do with it. So go take a peek and I'll see you guys back here. So I was really happy with this haul. I found some great vintage pieces. I found some great things for resale. And so I'm excited to show you guys. I'm going to get right in. The first thing that I found, this was actually at one of the Goodwills that I stopped at. And it's an old children's book of the night before Christmas. And this was about 50 cents. And the reason that I grabbed this is because I love vintage Christmas. I love vintage kids books. And like most of the pieces, you know, that I bring home. It's, you know, it just has a lot of character. But also, um, this is actually quite a collectible piece um, because of the illustrator. I won't even, I, I know if I try to pronounce her name, I will, I will absolutely butcher it. Um, but it's a well-known illustrator and with it being a vintage Christmas subject matter, I think this will do really well on resale. I have found it online um, for way more than 50 cents, which is what I paid for it. And if I don't end up, you know, selling it, then I can end up just keeping it and adding it to my Christmas display. But the illustrations are very sweet, and um, it's just a great story. And so for 50 cents, this came home with me the night before Christmas. The next thing I found at this same Goodwill, and I was just absolutely stoked, is um, I found this pair of McCoy Pottery flower pots. These were actually called the basket weave. They were called violet pots. And I'd imagine it's because you could use them for violets, but you could use them pretty much for any seedlings that you have. They've got the little drainage at the bottom and the saucer. These were 99 cents, which was a fantastic deal. The one does have a little chip in it, so that um, puts a little, a little ding in the price. But you can see that they're signed on the bottom. They're signed McCoy Pottery. And uh, whenever I find McCoy Pottery, I typically pick it up for resale. Some pieces I'll keep because I do have a bunch of vintage um, garden stuff on my patio. Um, but these are ones that I, I believe I already have a few of. I'll be double checking. Um, I may keep the chipped one for myself uh, since it's flawed and so am I. 
um, and then possibly sell this one. But in good shape, these bring anywhere from $15 to $18. So for 99 cents a piece, um, these were a good find. Always check underneath pottery and research the name because pottery that's signed tends to sell really well and have a great resale value. So for 99 cents, those came home with me. The other thing that I found at this Goodwill, and I know this is unusual for me, but I actually did find some clothing. Um, this is really cute. This is, it's like a jumpsuit. It's a little pant, pant jumpsuit. Hope you guys can see it okay. It's not a fancy brand. It's just uh, one of Target's brands. And this was around, I want to say $6, but it was in really nice shape, very clean, um, hardly worn. And so I thought this would be nice for summer. I can put, you know, even a little sweater or something um, or a button up with it if I wanted to. But for six bucks, again, you guys, you know, I tend to be cheap when it comes to thrift store clothing, but I thought for $6, that wasn't a bad idea. And stuff like this, I will wear all summer and spring long. So I know that even if I wear it just a few times, I'll get my money's worth. So that came home with me. Don't worry, I won't be trying it on, so you'll just have to take my word for it that it, it looks really cute. Um, the next thing that I found, I moved over to a, um, there was a Mission Thrift Store in Michigan that is only about 40 minutes away, so I did make a drive there. And uh, this was one of the pieces that I found. Sorry, this is, I know it's gonna be kind of weird with the mirror. Um, but for $1.99, this frame is plastic which I actually don't mind because these I keep for myself and I have a mirror wall that I do all um, like gold gilded mirrors on and frames. And so I actually don't mind if it's plastic because then if it falls, I don't need to worry. Um, but yeah, just a buck 99 for this. And I thought it was a great deal in good shape. And so this will be going into my keep pile and I will be adding this onto my mirror wall. I like to buy a lot of mirrors and frames. Even if you don't like the color, um, this pops out really easily and this could always be painted. I thought even for a kid's room or a kid's vanity, this would be really cool painted like a teal or a ballerina pink or something like that. So options, we like to have them. So I thought that was cool. The next thing I found, their color of the week was pink and orange. And so I've been on a vintage cookie cutter kick lately. I'm actually going to link in the description box. I just did a really cool recipe on the blog for applesauce and cinnamon ornaments for Christmas time. They will make your house smell absolutely amazing. Um, however, my family was disappointed because they thought I was baking cookies and they're not, they're ornaments. So you don't want to eat them. But, um, but I used my vintage cookie cutters that I bought a few weeks ago in one of my other videos, which I'll also link below. Um, and they worked out so fantastic. So these were $3.99, but they were a pink tag. So I got them for half off. And these, I like them so much because they're the copper color and the copper I'm finding is just really popular right now. But again, so many cute animals. There's another cute little Scotty dog one in here and lots of different animals. There's even a camel, and I don't think I've ever seen a camel one. Um, but I actually got two bags of these, and so I probably now have way more copper cookie cutters than I need. I've got about probably 20 in all that I bought on this haul. Um, lots of Christmas ones, snowman, Ivy. So lots of cuties. I'm ones that I haven't seen yet, you know, before. Reindeer. So a couple things I'll do with these. Um, oh, turkey. I'm sorry. I'm obsessed with these, you guys. I just think they're the cutest. So because these are the copper ones, I think that they're going to have a nice resale value. Um, so I will be most likely adding these to the sell pile. I might also keep a few to decorate with. I thought they'd look really nice in jars um, and displayed during the Christmas season with that pretty copper color. Um, so I'll also be doing that. So the one bag was $2, the other bag was $2. So for $2, I got about 20 cookie cutters. And so I think that was a good deal for both resale and to keep. Uh, another thing I found, this was $2 and it's just an old metal 
utility box and it's nice and clean on the inside which is nice it's not rusty I don't need to do a whole lot with it um, but this I'm going to turn into a trash to treasure piece I think I might um, find some way to embellish it not a whole lot because it's a really pretty blue and I don't need to do a ton with it but I might find a way to add some might maybe striping or some numbering and then what I'll do is I'll prop it open and I'll use it for display. I also saw where people are turning these utility boxes into phone charging stations, um, which might be a little bit above my skill level, but it's something worth looking into. So for $2, super cute box. I always buy little boxes and things when I find them because they can be used for storage or you know all kinds of different projects. Uh, the next thing I grabbed was, I always snag old crafting supplies when I see them. This was $2, and it's a bunch of unfinished wood um, crafting beads, and they're, they're bigger. And so what I'm going to do with these is, I know I think we've talked about them before, but people are doing the wood bead garlands, you know, that are really into that kind of farmhouse-y look, the natural look. And so there's probably at least 20, 25 beads in here, maybe closer to 20. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to thread them and I'm going to use them for different garlands and things around the house. So I'll definitely be doing a tutorial on those. Um, but you know, just kind of that natural wood look is really popular, if you, especially if you like the farmhouse kind of vintage look. A couple different beads in here. So I think these are going to be really good for crafting. And you guys might remember in my last video, I found those really cool vintage tassels. So I could always tie one of those onto the end of the banner that I do, or I'm sorry, the, the garland that I do. So $1.99 on these. I thought that was a great deal. Beads are expensive if you buy, and wood crafting pieces are expensive. So I would have paid a lot more than that had I bought them at a craft store. Uh, the last two little things I grabbed, I love green depression glass, and that's what both of these are. They're little green depression glass Sunday dishes. Fun fact, I remember seeing an interview years ago with Pamela Anderson, and her house is very cottagey, rustic kind of cottagey. And she has a green depression glass collection in this beautiful white hutch, and it was just gorgeous. So I've collected green depression glass for years, both for resale and to keep for myself. Um, these were just in the regular drinking glasses, so they charged me 49 cents a piece for them, which is a fantastic deal. Um, but what I'll do with these is I use them as vases or to hold straws or um, utensils or different things like that. So I'll be using these in tablescapes. They look really pretty. I don't know what it is, but when Green Depression Glass has like pink flowers in it, it looks really, really pretty. So for about 49 cents each, those came home with me. They'll be going into my keep pile. And I'm sure I'll be finding a fun way to decorate with those. Okay, so those are my 10 items that I found. My grand total for the day, again, right around $20, $22 or so. Lots of great items for resale. Lots of great items to keep and use. I'm really hoping to get going and start doing some trash to treasure videos so you guys can see how I'm using a lot of these pieces. Because I know sometimes just seeing it, it's hard to kind of envision um, what it might look like and to some people it might just look like a bunch of knickknacks but um, I really love transforming this stuff and using it in all kinds of different ways around the house it saves me so much money and it's fun to do so hopefully coming soon I'll be doing some trash to treasures and showing you guys how I use things so make sure you subscribe so that when I post those videos you can see them otherwise I hope you guys are having a fantastic week I thank you so much as always for joining me and I hope you'll come back soon and see what I'm working on keep finding those treasures and if you do tell me about them in the comment section below thanks so much guys bye bye